Hey guys, welcome back to my videos. Today I'm going to be talking you through what is in my bag. It's just an everyday bag to take with me to work or if I'm going out for the day. Um, yeah, so it is a River Island kind of, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, leather tote. Um, it's not real leather, but it looks like real leather. So I'm going to say it's a leather tote bag. I prefer these kind of open tote bags because I have a lot of backpacks and I hate the fuss of having to take it off and unzip stuff, you know, to get through the... Uh, barriers at the train station or if I need to get my phone out or keys whatever so like having this at my side and being able to just open it and grab what I need so yeah, this is full of things that I had with me yesterday um, I haven't unpacked my bag since then the only thing I've taken out of it is the camera that I'm filming on now but yeah let's get right into it the number one thing that I carry with me everywhere, and I mean everywhere, are these black Puma trainers. They are so incredibly lightweight that they just pop in your bag and they don't add any extra bulk really. I would wear a lot of new shoes but they can rub, so it's always good to have a pair of extra trainers on hand. Again, super comfortable and black goes with everything. An umbrella uh, speaks for itself really. I live in England, it's September now, so I need to carry this around me everywhere. Even when it looks sunny outside, like it kind of is now, there's also a massive grey cloud right over there that's coming for us, so yeah. One of these ones that kind of folds up and fits nice in your bag without taking up too much space. Then of course my keys, I need to get into my house. And what do we have? We have... I'm not going to say who that is, if you can tell me who that is then you get a thousand points. And then this little bean thing, I don't know, and it kind of pops out and it's got a little, little bean face. I don't know, I don't know why I have that. <laughs> okay, so next up we have my glasses. I'm supposed to wear glasses pretty much all the time. Um, and look, I don't wear them so much that they're so dirty. I haven't even bothered to get a new case for them. This is the case they came in. I think I need to go back to the opticians. Opticians? Do teeth. I need to go back to the eye people and get my eyesight fixed again. Because I don't wear my glasses, wear your glasses, kids. Next up we have a notepad from Paper Chase. This is where I just write down everything, whether it's um, a number I need to ring or a date I'm attending something or ideas. It's a mess. It's a creative mess, but I know where everything is, I understand it. But yeah, I think I've got like three of these for like a pound. Really cheap, but really, really handy. And then with that, of course, I have a pen. I believe this is moleskin. Need that to write stuff, obviously. I never lend people my pens, they always go missing, so when anybody asks if I have a pen, I'm like, no. Sorry. I've got two things here by Tokyo Milk. I've got here a lip balm and an aftershave. I don't know how to describe the fragrance of this aftershave to you. It says cake flower, dark cocoa bean, osmanthus, and bronze musk. I don't know what half of them are. It smells incredible, but I just don't know how to explain the smell to you because I never smell anything like it before. I think the best way I can describe it is chocolate and baby powder, but in a really manly way. If you can get your hands on this, you're very lucky. I haven't found it in the UK. I also always carry around a um, hair product with me. This is usually just a high street bought product, whether it's from like Boots or like CVS or wherever. Um, my hair is so thick and no matter how much hairspray I put in it, it tends to fall throughout the day. So yeah, I will use a cheap but really, really good hair product that I can just apply later on in the day should my hair fall. I don't carry around hairspray because I have hairspray in every location I go to. And then I've got a pen, another pen. <laughs> this pen is from Paper Chase again, but do you remember these? You've got a black option, you've got a red option, a pink, an orange, a blue, and then a dark blue. Um, yeah, and sometimes it's just nice to write in orange every so often instead of black. So I carry this around just in case I should ever need to write in any other colour other than red, black and blue. Then finally we have my iPod. I carry on an iPod separate to my phone because I take so many pictures on my phone that there's never enough space to have all my music, all my podcasts and all my photos on my phone. So yeah, I just got one of the old fashioned kind of iPod touch, touches, touch, iPod touches. I don't read guys, but I'm a huge fan of podcasts, and the one podcast that really got me into podcasts is Welcome to Night Vale. If you haven't heard of it, look it up immediately. It's like a really cool radio show for this really messed up town. It's like dark comedy, a little bit scary to begin with, but pretty cool. I'm hugely into my ghost stories, my kind of like urban legends, all that kind of stuff. And one podcast I've been listening to a lot recently is Real Ghost Stories Online. Um, and this is just like paranormal, supernatural, unexplained, haunted ghost stories, so people write in 
and they tell, share their ghost stories, and they can phone in as well and share their ghost stories too. And it, yeah, it kind of scares me a lot, but um, it's really, really cool to listen to. So I'll listen to this um, on the tube to work, um, never on my own at home. But yeah, Real Ghost Stories Online, I'm going to link this down below. It's a really, really interesting podcast. Then yeah, that's just the bag itself is, like I said, it's more like an open shopper bag. Uh, not real leather, but it looks just as good. Um, it doesn't have that fishy smell that fake leather usually has. But yeah, I just like the easy access of this. You can see everything when you open your bag. You can see what's around and in there. And it's black. Goes with everything. Makes a great weekend away bag as well. And that is River Island. So that's what's in my bag, guys. Let me know if you found this interesting as well. And I'm kind of tempted to start doing end of month favourites. I think I've done it once. So let me know if you want to see kind of end of month favourites down below in the comments. And also I am on Periscope. Is that how you say it? Add me at JamesWLCH150. Um, I don't know, I might kind of like live Periscope myself filming videos or just Q&As on there. So yeah, if you want to get to know me better through that than rather than just tutorials and whatever, add me on Periscope. Also find me on Instagram, Twitter. And that's it for now. Give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you next week.